Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I think I'm going to start a little series about showing you guys these small little interesting places. So let's get on with it. So when I decided to take you guys to these interesting places, I was really curious which uh, would be the first one I'd show you. And then I remembered about this small little lake called Lost Lake here in the San Bernardino, San Gregorio mountain range. Um, it is right next to the 15, which you can see right here, those trucks driving by. Uh, it's kind of hidden, you can't see it from the freeway. So why is this lake so cool? Well, I think it's cool because it's completely spring-fed. So there's no inlet river, there's no outlet river. It's all coming up from the ground. And this lake didn't used to be here. Legend has it that there was a large earthquake and then the lake just appeared one day. So this is all groundwater seeping up through the fault. So let me tell you some geography facts about this lake. Uh, it runs right along the San Andreas Fault. We are standing in the San Andreas Fault, which is pretty neat. And it's actually a pretty clear lake. It used to be a lot nicer, but the Forest Service has kind of like stopped taking care of it, it seems like. There used to be a table, which is broken. Uh, there used to be porta potties, which are missing. Or not porta potties, but the pit toilet. And that's gone now. But it is kind of a nice little spot. What's neat is you can drive right up to it which not many lakes in our area you can. I see people fishing in it all the time and I have seen fish in it. So there are fish in this lake. Now, if you're into fishing, I might throw my reel in for a little bit and see if I catch anything, but I probably won't because I never seen a single soul catch a fish here before. All right, there's no one around. So I figured I'd go ahead and throw my line in a little bit. I'm more of a river kind of guy. I'm not really a big lake fisher, but I'll take my old reliable, what I deem the trout slayer. Uh, it just looks like a little rainbow trout. I'll just throw the spinner on there, my little portable backpacking pole here. I'll see if we can catch anything. Well, threw a few casts in. So far, nothing, which I'm not surprised about. Again, not much of a lake fisher, so this stuff's kind of boring to me, but I'll go try over here by these bushes. All right, I just threw in a few more casts. Ah, uh, again, no bites. I might go try that other side there. It looks a little deeper. So let me go walk over there. Oh, this is where I saw the fish last. He was kicking it right there and he swam out into the deep. We're on the other side now and same thing. Whole lot of nothing. So this lake might have some nice natural beauty, but we have to talk about the human impact on this lake. There is a lot of trash around it. Uh, people have been driving and walking, so it is just kind of a dirt lot you're in. It's not like you're in trees or anything pretty like that. Lots of the trees are tagged. There's a bunch of dirt and nasties in the water so i guess if you can look past all the gross human activities it is actually a really beautiful place so what's my say on this lake should you come out here and hang out for a day yeah i think you should it's a nice place i wouldn't recommend bringing your family and kids because it is kind of a, a little sketchy area uh, every time i've come here there's been some uh questionable people hanging around but if you and a buddy just want to come out for a couple hours and try your luck with fishing, yeah, I'd recommend it. Just uh, pick up your trash. Have a good one. <laughs> 